Hi everyone, my name is Tasia, and welcome back to my podcast, Spider Relax. I tell exciting stories from many Indian epics, so stay curious and trek beyond. Today is stories galore. We are talking about one of the most famous Krishna stories ever. Yes, it's called Krishna and Mount Govardhana. And without any further ado, let's go. In India, people prayed to Lord Indra, chief of gods, for rain. They prayed for rain so that their crops could grow. So one fine day when all the gopis and villagers of the Prindavan village were preparing to pray to Indra, Krishna happened to stumble upon the scene. He saw them and asked, Mothers, why are you praying to Lord Indra? They replied by saying, Krishna, we pray to Indra for rain because if it rains, our crops will grow. But then, Krishna told the gopis something so sensible, they all asked themselves, why didn't they think of this first? Krishna said, Indra may give you rain, but Mount Govardhana gives you shade and food. Mothers, you should pray to Mount Govardhana. The gopis and villagers immediately began worshipping Mount Govardhana. But up in the heavens, Lord Indra was boiling with anger that this little boy merely suggested that everyone pray to Mount Govardhana instead of Indra himself. As a result of all that anger, Indra decided to punish the Brindavan village by sending lightning and thunderstorms down to earth. All the gopis and villagers, frightened, cry out to Krishna to do something. So then, Krishna assures them of safety and lifts Mount Govardhana on his left pinky finger. All the villagers and gopis swarm underneath it for shelter, thanking Krishna every moment. Krishna held Mount Govardhana on his pinky finger for seven days till Indra realized that Krishna was actually an avatar of Lord Vishnu. Do you think holding a mountain on your pinky finger for seven days is possible? Or was it just Krishna? Do let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed today's story. And remember, every story I tell about the Mahabharat and Bhagavad Puran is linked, so don't forget them. See you again soon. Bye everyone!